Hey everyone, it's your Friday on 7 Days of Beauty. This week's theme was to share a collection that you have, and one of the collections that I have is a perfume and lotion collection, which a couple of the gir other girls in this club also have. So I will start with this one, and this is the Nivea Cream. Now I've almost hit pan on this, but I am not quite there yet. You can buy it at your drugstore, and this is great. Um, for your hands, arms, if you have bumps on your arms, any of that kind of stuff. You can put this on your legs, your feet. I wouldn't recommend putting this on your face. It's a vino. This is dermatologist recommended. Now just because it says that does not mean that you can put it on your face. I would not use any lotion on your face unless it is from a skincare line like Clinique or MAC or Sephora or any kind of things like that. Definitely don't put stuff on your face that's from like CVS or Rite Aid because you don't know what kind of toxins are in there and it can make your face break out really badly. So this is just the Daily Moisturizing Lotion and it's fragrance free so it doesn't smell like anything. Moisturized for 24 hours. I don't know if TJ Maxx is worldwide but I know that they have them in a lot of the states of the USA. And this is the H2O in the Scent Waterfall. And this is a body balm, as you can see, and it's from Bath Aquatics. I'll tell you guys a really sad story after I finish showing you guys my stuff. Body cloggy, and this is the Juicy Pomegranate. People always ask me, like, when I play volleyball, like, how come my hands don't get chapped? And how come when I, like, smack hands with them, like, say good game or whatever, like, my hands are so soft, how did I get my hands so soft? Is literally this stuff. This stuff is amazing. Juicy Pomegranate. Lasting moisture. It has fragrance and it smells so nice. And then this one is very sexy from Victoria's Secret. All of the ones I just showed you are under $10, but this one was, in fact, $15 from Victoria's Secret. And this smells exactly like the perfume. So if you want to smell the smell like the perfume, but you don't want to spend like $40, definitely get this. But this was with the Valentine's Day collection, so I'm not sure if they still have that out. And then these last two ones that I have is the Body Shop. This place is amazing. And this is the Grapefruit Body Butter. Smells exactly like what the picture looks like. How amazing this smells. But when I do a, um, when I hit a thousand subscribers on my main channel, I will definitely go out and buy like six of these and give them to the winner because they smell amazing. Not the same one, probably different flavors as well. But this was $20, but I got it on sale for $10 when you purchase two of them. And then this last one that I have is Airy Sparkling. And this is from, Airy is made from American Eagle. It's just like the undergarments, which is where I get most of my undergarments because the underwear is like butter. So, I know it sounds weird, but I always say that. My friends are like, what? I'm like, literally, it's like butter to your bum. <laughs> so, um, and this is in the scent Berry Shimmer. Very, very shimmer body lotion. Very shimmery, though. It, it has its name, Very Shimmery. This one is Jennifer Lopez Live, and it smells amazing. Um, this is from Kohl's, and it was like $60 when I purchased it. And then on to my other scents is Abercrombie & Fitch, one that I wear most often. And this is the Fierce Cologne. So it looks like I'm almost out. Not really. I have like more than half to go. And this has lasted me like four years. And so that's what it looks like. And then um, this was about $100 when I purchased it. I don't know if it's gone up or down in price. But I purchased this, like I said, I've had this for like two or three years now so and I don't use it every day so that's why it's not all gone and then my last one that I have four of are the Victoria's Secret and um, I was almost out on this one and each one of these are nine dollars and this one is my favorite which is Love Spell it smells so good I think I Tyra has this because I just saw her video and she has it too. And this is the these are the refreshing body mist, and this one has cherry blossom, peach, and white jasmine in it. Amazing scents in that. And then this one is the newest scent, the luscious kisses, and this has um, Valencia orange, coconut, and tonka bean. And then this one, which is my mom's that I gave to her, is amber romance, 
black cherry cream and glace in sandalwood. Mm. Actually, it smells, it smells like vanilla. That's amazing. And then just a refill of this one. So that was all my scents, or at least the ones that I can find right now. And now on to my very sad story that I cried about so much yesterday. Um, I don't have a Twitter. I don't have any of that kind of stuff, so no one could have, like, I couldn't have talked to anyone about it. But last night, my mom was walking my dog, and this kid came with his truck about, like, 50 miles an hour down our road, which is way too fast, and he hit my dog. I don't think it went over my dog, but she, I heard her yelp, and uh, my mom had, like, a pan in her hand, and she was like, stop! But, of course, he didn't listen because he's a teenager. I mean, that's why I don't drive yet because I don't want to get into accidents and, like, have someone run me over or something. But it was really sad, and we had to bring her to the emergency vet clinic because she wasn't walking right. And uh, I don't know if she'll ever be the same because she is 9 years old. She's the situ. I stayed home from school today to care for her because I love her so much. And uh, if she... I don't know, I thought she was gone, which literally 50 miles an hour, can you believe that? Hitting a dog? Me and my mom always say now, we're like, there's someone watching over our dog, God doesn't want her to die for a reason, she's here in this world for a reason, to make my family a better place, I guess, but um, it's really amazing because she could never have survived that much of an impact on her for like a truck. Her left leg goes like that, but her right leg stands up like that. So we're not really sure what's the matter with it. They gave her a shot yesterday, but it was like $300 to bring a dog in. It's a ridiculous amount of money. And uh, today we have to go get some more um, medicine for her. Scared yesterday, I was like, ah. It's so scary because I've never had that happen to me before. And I've had her since I was in second grade, and I'm now in 11th grade. So you can imagine how much of a strong bond we have. And uh, she's actually on my bed right now. She just, I can't, I hate seeing people in pain, and she's in so much pain right now, it just, it's mind-boggling how much, I mean, it's like one of you guys getting hit by a car. It's the exact same thing, just she's an animal, and she's smaller, and that truck was massive, and I, I count my blessings every day that she's here, and uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share that heartwarming story with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next Friday. Have a great weekend. Bye.